Good day, traders. This is Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today, we're going to be talking about trend lines on the part three of the end of day trading modules. So, in part one, we talked about candlesticks and bar charts. Part two, we talked about peaks and troughs. And today, in part three, we're going to be discussing trend lines. So, if we go back to lesson number two, where we were marking off peaks and troughs, and I'll switch this over in a sec here. If we were to go through our chart, so this is a end of day Canadian dollar chart. Um, and we'll just open this up a little bit to make it a bit more visually accessible. So what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll mark off our peaks and troughs. So again, we're looking for where direction has changed and for the sake of this lesson, I'm looking for where a breakout candle occurs and by breakout I mean the close has closed outside of the range of the previous day's candle. We'll define that as our peaks and our troughs. So we'll go through and just mark off a couple of peaks and troughs. And then what we'll do is we'll connect two points which we'll call a trend line. Now in this particular situation you can see where We'll use the other line here to mark this off. So we've got two points that we can connect and we can draw that trend line into the future here. We have a trend line break that occurs up here. Actually, we've got a smaller trend line there as well. So there's today we're talking about medium term trend lines and we'll talk about micro trend lines in a second. So where we see this trend line break occur, we look for a retest of that most recent high, which in this case the market exceeded that high. So what we would do is redraw that line and project it into the future again. And each time that, that occurs, we would look to see whether the trend does continue or if it's starting to slow down or consolidate. And that's the idea with these trend lines is it gives us a chance to assess the strength of the trend, the direction of the current price action, the momentum of the trend. So in this particular case we had a micro trend line that occurred here and then the trend lost a bit of momentum. It regained that and now it's instead of exceeding that previous high it's rolled back into the range and we see that some of that momentum has now been lost now one thing about the trend lines is that when you draw them you want to make sure that you incorporate all the price action so you shouldn't have a trend line that does that and you can see that this price action is excluded. If you're projecting a price into the future, it must take into consideration all of that previous price action. Now, when the market in this particular case with the Canadian dollar has rolled over and started to actually now form lower highs and lower lows, now we potentially may be looking at a change in trend or change in direction. So again looking for two points can be up or down. These are just another example here where we've got lower high lower low the trend was then broken. Okay. So instead of having a retest of the low we had a very strong uh, spike occur and then we saw the market go into a channel and then resume the original direction of that first breakout. So again two points in the medium term so even here we could project these two points but you're looking for two points that you can connect and project into the future. So just looking at some 
We'll look at some downward trend lines. Same thing. So if we were to, as soon as we see this low broken, the trend may be in jeopardy. Market made a new high, medium term low in a two wave correction, and then started to make lower highs and lower lows. So if we were to project that trend line down now, we can see that we've got a trend in place. Now as the trend started to gain momentum, the angle of that trend line started to get more aggressive. So we still had a medium term trend but it was aggressively moving down. We saw some sideways movement or distribution occur and then the trend resumed its way down. So in this particular situation again where you can join two points you want to be looking for areas of consolidation but re looking at the same original legs that drove that trend down and again you can see where the trend aggressively blew off in a micro trend line break at the bottom and then started to channel again. Now these smaller channels of sideways price action there would have been trend lines on shorter time frames occurring in a range bound or channeling market but again for the purposes of this we're just looking for two points that we can connect and project into the future. So I'll take a look at a different chart maybe uh, oil for example. So Here's an example of where we could draw a trend line. We've got one, two, three, four, five points before the trend starts to fail. We've got a couple of points up top that we can connect. And then we see a failure occur up here. We've got a two points there. So you, again, you can start to look at where trend lines are tested and they fail or where potentially, even with the horizontal here, two points, one, two. We're just looking for two points again where we can project a line into the future to look for potential areas of resistance or failure and a resumption of the trend. And again, in the shorter micro trend lines you can see flag patterns develop areas of consolidation and for a horizontal trend line you don't necessarily need two points you can project it sideways into the future to look for support and resistance but on the angled trend lines bearish or bullish you definitely want to have at least two points that you can project into the future to give you an indication of current price action strength or weakness. So hopefully that helps. Again, you're looking for two points. What we'll talk about in the next module are micro trend lines. Hopefully you've got some value out of today's videos, traders. Go print off a whole bunch of your own charts. Start practicing your trend lines and looking for any patterns that might be developing in terms of momentum or um, support and resistance. May the markets go with you. Thanks traders and have a great day. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.